Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. The question I'm answering tonight is, what's in the box in regards to this? This is an expansion for the Adventuria Adventure card game. To my knowledge, the second expansion for that game, for at least for the English edition, of Adventuria. Now, the Adventuria Adventure card game is a role-playing card game. Um, not, it's hard to describe. It's an adventure card game. It's it's and it's based on the world of the Dark Eye or Das Arg, which is Germany's most popular role-playing game. Like think Dungeons and Dragons in Germany. Well, it's an adventure card game set in that universe. That actually the adventures in these boxes tell some of the classic modules. So think of playing through, say, on D&D modules, whatever, Into the Unknown or Tomb of Horrors or something like that. So Ship of Lost Souls is a well-known advent or Dark Eye module. This is that story told for the Aventuria Adventure card game. So what I'm going to do is crack open the box here. First, though, I'll give you some background. A demon arc sent by Witch King Morda is nearing the Adventurian coast. It carries a dark diamond a breeding ground for demons and undead. You must stop the ship of lost souls before it makes landfall and spews out the terrible creatures in its belly. This is an expansion for the Adventure card game. It contains the adventure ship of lost souls and three acts, as well as the short adventure Reitholtz's treasure. Additionally, it introduces a new hero, Zalva Garhetdotir a Thorwallian warrior who uses her physical strength and battle prowess to smite her foes. So in addition to a three-act adventure, you also get a short adventure and a new character that will work in all of your adventure area games, both for playing cooperatively through an adventure or competitively during duels. So I'm just going to cut the shrink on this, and we'll take a look at what you get in the box, which I expect will be a booklet about the size of this box and a bunch of cards. So here you have my newly opened copy of Adventuria Ship of Lost Souls. I have not seen what's in this box before. You get to discover it as I do. All right, as expected, we have the rule booklet and adventure on top, which contains some new rules. Um, the rules for deck construction when using the new character. Um, the new rules should be interesting. There's something called group cards, which is a totally new mechanic to Adventuria I am looking forward to. Um, there is a new keyword animals, which actually those were also introduced in Forest of No Return, a per previous expansion. Um, there is something here about tra pirate treasures, so that looks interesting. And action cards with negative effects, so there are actual cards that are going to subtract from your stats. And I'm not going to consider this a spoiler because it's right here in the rule book. But that's interesting. There's some cards that are going to cause negative things. Then we get to the actual adventure, and this is the standard format they've used in all the Adventuria products so far. I'm going to flip through this quickly because I don't want to spoil anything for you or myself. So we have the three-act adventure first, and then one short adventure. And that's it. On the back, we do have the introduction for the new character, but I'll leave you to discover that on your own because you don't want to sit and listen to me read all that out. So for the new character, we do have some new counters. So, of course, the one thing is, if you play with more characters, you do need more fate tokens. Uh, we have some additional time tokens. We have some creepy tentacles. Uh, along with that, you do have a wheel. So, this came out before the second printing of Adventuria. 100% compatible, don't worry. So, it used health wheels instead of cards. So, you have a wheel for tracking your health for this type of character. For this character. Then we have two decks. I am there. There's also a set of screws here to assemble the wheel, which is just a life counter. We have two decks. Uh, looks like they're split up. Okay, I was hoping that the Caro deck would be one and the Adventure would be separate. So we're going to put these off to the side a bit. We're going to crack these open. These do have a nice take off the plastic bit, which I appreciate. And they both worked very well. Thank you for that. Ulysses Spiel. So, I am going to grab... All right, so here are Retold's Treasures. Here is the Hero deck. So I'm going to separate that out. Note, I have played a number of games of Aventuria. So I do know the purpose and stuff for these cards. We are going to go through some of them. I don't want to spoil too many things. 
Those are new henchman cards. So you have a significant deck of new henchman cards. So actually the decks are rather well split up. So we have the adventure cards. Those I really don't want to spoil. So Reet Holtz is treasure. This side's going to be better. We have new reward cards. So we're going to pull those out. So we have a number of new reward cards. Again, I don't really want to spoil anything. So I'm just going to... You have a hand of new reward cards. You have the Reet Holtz treasure cards, which is a nice five cards. So it looks like you're going to have some interesting things. You've got, of course, the difficulties for the time scales. You've got, I don't want to spoil anything. So we're just going to put these over here. This looks interesting. So there's either a danger phase and an exploration phase. The next, we should have all the Ship of Lost Souls cards, which are in three parts. Okay, I don't know what all these green things are. So we're going to put those aside. So that is a lot of cards for a three-act adventure. So here is the deck you're going to go through for the three-act adventure. That is not a small deck of cards. Um, Ship of Lost Souls, three parts right here. Then you have these, which are new events. Okay. Looking at the back. Oh, we got a few things. So we have events. We have new events. And what I want to look at here, and fans of Aventuria will know why, is what keywords they have. So we have ship, water ship, ruin ship forest, dungeon ruin ship, dungeon ruin ship, general, and dungeon ship. So a whole lot of, uh, of ships, but there's also dungeons as well as waters and ruins. So some of these cards can be added to your existing stories. Now with this, we have these new pirate treasure cards. There's a lot, wow, there's a lot of pirate treasure cards. We're gonna quickly look at these. They have some neat rules. It looks like there's some options there, good and bad things. What, the pirate treasure is cursed, oh no. And what we have, these are the reward cards. So that's it for the adventure. Henchmen, we're going to quickly go through. You've got some undead zombie pirates. I don't want to give the details away. Undead zombie pirates. So if you are playing an adventure with undead, there are a ton of new undead right here. You've got a significant deck of new undead cards to be added to your henchman deck. And I know some of the existing adventures, even from the core rulebook, use the, the undead henchman. So that's cool. You have a new supernatural henchman. You have an Amphibian Zillet, and I don't know what a Zillet is, but it looks cool. And you have an Amphibian Crokian. So I'm guessing that's the, the, the Aventuria equivalent of Kautoa. Just to show off some of the artwork there, it's pretty awesome. Then we have a Voracious Tiger Shark, which is an Animal Sea. Okay, so all the new animals are sea animals. That's awesome. So we have a, a Swarm. So this obviously uses the Swarm rules from Forest of No Return. We have the ravenous saltwater piranhas, which I don't want to deal with. A young sea serpent, which is animal sea. A hungry morphu. That's a morphu. And, well, a small kraken. All right, that's the adventure stuff. Now we have a character to go through. So what I'm going to do is put these aside. Because if anyone is into dueling in Adventuria, what you want to know is what this character does. Because this character can now be played in every adventure. So you are starting off with a 13 attack with a 10 range. What's really impressive is that 13 attack is combined with a 7 dodge. That's impressive. Um, their basic attack is pretty much the same as everyone. Special ability is once per combat, remove X of your endurance cards to heal you X times. And draw X cards. Wow, that's a nice ability. Um, highest skill is body control, so she's very similar to Urbosh the Dwarf. Also good at perception, not so good at persuade and survival. Okay, I'll try to hold these up so I can see them. So she has leather armor, leather greaves, leather helm, so a full set of armor, and a leather shield. Full set of leather. Weapons include a throwing hatchet. Um, okay, so we're not going to do all the weapons at once. She also has unexpected attack, suddenly gone. A Warhammer. She's very similar to Urbosh. Uh, throwing Daggers. A Net. That's cool. Cast Net. That's a card I've never seen before. Acrobatics. So a way to increase her dodge even higher. Self-Control, which increases her attack. And another... And Warfare. So again, similar to Urbosh. 
Uh, sleight of hand to increase her ranged attacks, a trident, which is new. Bastard sword, short bow. Worselweed. That's awesome. It heals someone. Two turn two hit points around until they hit their hit points total of 20. Battle Axe. Vigilance. That's a re-roll of dodge. So definitely good at dodging. Sea Breeze. Exhaustion. Charge into the fray. A couple of those. Stunning Blow. Force Swafnir. That's an interesting one. I don't know. It's two of those. Swafnir's help. Swafnir must be the god of the water. It would be my guess. Stroke of Fate and Hammer Fist. So there you have, I'm going to butcher this, Jalva, it's T-J-A-L-V-A, Garhet Dottir, G-A-R-H-E-L-T-D-O-T-T-I-R. I apologize for my terrible German. She's a Thorwallian warrior. Um, very similar to Urbosh the Dwarf, the Blacksmith, the Dwarf Blacksmith. This is an actual warrior, though. A lot of overlap there. Um, does seem cool, though. They are definitely distinct. And that's it. Let's put them out so you can see them again. So you have a new character, a whole deck full of pirate treasure, a stack of new henchmen with a focus on aquatic undead and aquatic animals, a selection of new reward cards, a ton of new events, including some that should work in other adventures. Oh, I didn't have all the henchmen together. Sorry, more henchmen. More henchmen. The short adventure, Recolt's treasure. And finally, the three-stage Ship of Lost Souls adventure and the cardboard bits to go with it. Now, not seeing a good way for me to organize the cards so they don't go anywhere, everywhere. So I'm gonna do my best to just put these in here, kind of next to each other, and hope they don't make a huge mess when I put this back on my shelf. Thankfully, the card backs on these are e make it easy to tell things apart. Um, also, sorry, two little plastic things for putting the health wheel together. There you go. What you get in the box for Venturia, Ship of Lost Souls, an expansion for the Adventuria Adventure card game, playing through the world of the Dark Eye or Dashwa's art. I'm impressed with what's in here. I know I just probably made all the cards do terrible things. <laughs> I probably should have just lifted the box lid, but fair enough. Um, here you have the second major big campaign adventure for the Adventuria Adventure card game. This is a the second adventure after Forest of No Return, Features a new character, a new three-act story, and one short story. Looks like there's some new rules in here that look interesting, including a card that reduces your character's stats. So, I don't know, some kind of curse or something. And then the pirate treasure thing looked really interesting as well. Didn't want to spoil anything else, but there is a new character, a female warrior that looks pretty badass. Um, leather armor instead of big metal armor, but a lot of the same weapons as the dwarf that's in the core set. But really good dodge, a seven dodge for a warrior. So that looks like you got a brand new shiny tank to play in your games of Aventuria. Or to duel against the other heroes. So that's it. Everything you get in the box for Aventuria Ship of Lost Souls from Ulysses Spiel, who I do have to thank for sending a review copy of this game. Thank you very much for joining me. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop One Word. Show your support for videos like this and our other content at our Patreon at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop, where you can get cool stuff like access to a private Discord channel, a um, behind-the-scenes show notes, bonus audio, and other cool bonuses like I just sent everyone a copy of my latest role-playing game. That's it for my time here right now. We got to move on and open up a couple more boxes, and then I got a game night to attend. So you have a good night, and game on.